Hello everyone, welcome to Let's DevOps, myself Sumit and today we are going to talk about deploying the Python function to Azure function app using GitHub Action. We will also see how to set up the CI CD for the same. So before we start, uh, first of all, uh, for all the demo and discussion, I'll be following this article and the link of this article you can find under the video description. So let's start. So first is introduction. Yes, in this article we will learn how to deploy the Python function to Azure function app and we will make use of the GitHub action. So with this also we will try to implement uh, CI CD and we will learn the CI CD workflow using the GitHub action. One thing I want to clarify is on the Azure function app we have different uh, functions. Uh, I mean you can have a Python function, you can have a .NET function, you can have a PowerShell function. So in this demo and description uh, basically we are focusing on Python but the same technique you can also use it for different function. Okay. Now let's talk about the architecture. So here we have a simple architecture where on the GitHub repository we are having that uh, our Python function and with the help of GitHub action we are deploying to the Azure function app. Coming to the CI CD workflow uh, to implement the CI CD yes we are using the source code from the GitHub repo and we have a GitHub ac actions workflow which will have a two different stage one is build and another is a deploy so as part of the build we are first checking out the code we are creating a package and we are also including the dependent module as part of the function app package and this is very important because if you miss to uh, have that in a package it will not deploy to the function app and maybe your function app will not work okay so that you have to make sure it is included in your uh, step to create a package of function as well as the dependent modules. So I will show that in a demo where we are basically uh, defining that part. Talking about the deploy, so yes after creating the package we can uh, deploy the package and the dependent module uh, using uh, the function deploy action we have uh, from the Azure itself and with the help of that we can deploy to the Azure. So if you see here, basically we have a, a three different um, environment like if you have a dev, pre-prod and prod. So basically you are picking the code from the GitHub, packaging it and then maybe first you are trying to reply to the dev, then you may be uh, deploying to the pre-prod and then prod. So this is uh, some uh, normal workflow of the CI CD. Okay. Now coming to the how to set up CI CD. Yeah, in this section we will learn how to set up CI CD and we will make use of the GitHub GitHub action and the YAML workflow. So assume that if you are new to GitHub action, you may follow this tutorial. It will be helpful. Okay, so talking about the prerequisites. So first of all, um, since we are going to deploy the function app, uh, the the Azure function app should should have created already right and and uh, whenever you are creating the Azure function app you you need to make sure that you have selected the Python runtime because you are going to deploy the Python function right to the Azure function app so so that that is a kind of a prerequisite you should have second is like getting the published profile setting so this is very important uh, you need to get this because uh, this profile setting value will be used for authentication. So we will set up that in a workflow. The third is like importing the Azure function app code to the GitHub repo. So since you are going to uh, deploy the function app, so that uh, the, the application code should be available in the GitHub repo, right? So that you should have already. The fourth is like uh, getting the Azure function app detail. So uh, you need to uh, get uh, the the detail of function app name, the function app URL, and then the publish profile credential. So if you see here, uh, you you may log into the uh, uh, Azure function, Azure actually, and then you can go to the respective uh, function app. So here, one of my sample 
a function app which I have created so you can pick the detail so this will be your function app name this will be your uh, the second will be your URL and then you can uh, download the publish profile setting so this will uh, we'll further use that in our github configuration okay so talking about the github repo so uh, since we already discussed about the prerequisite so you you make sure you have already uh, the your function app uh, imported and here i have some sample repo uh, that i have used for uh, for setting up the demo so you this is a publicly available so you can maybe go and have a look to it how i have configured so if i go and click on it uh, i can see here uh, i have this uh, function and here if you see i have uh, one is github workflow where we will configure our the action workflow and then this is where we are keeping our our function app the, the python function app so under the demo like since i have given the demo uh, sample maybe you will have your own uh, the python function and then here already you will have a list of uh, function that that we call it as a source code for the functions right so once you upload it there uh, you have this already available imported then you can proceed to the next step okay so here i have mentioned okay this is my uh, repository name and this is where i have created a demo sample so this is a function uh, the python function which i have already created for a demo purpose okay so talking about the ci cd workflow setup so how basically we are going to configure so that uh, all the changes uh, that can be deployed from our uh, github repo to the azure function app so yeah here if you see first of all uh, basically you need to go to the uh, the workflow uh, and the workflow will be available under the under the dot workflow github dot github workflow folder and here if you see uh, we have this yaml file okay so first of all if you see uh, if you try to uh, go through that uh, the the workflow here we are uh, first providing the the github the the function app name so right now i have given a, this is a my default function app that i have used for testing purpose and these are the some setting that you may need to update if you are going to use uh, my workflow you can just make sure to update this value the third is github function app path so this is nothing but your relative path for the function that is available in the repository right so for us it is function app and then demo sample so that it will pick the all the required function and then it will deploy to the this particular function app okay so other thing is uh, other is very important part was about the about this publish profile right so here if you see i have created this uh, uh, the publish profile and that publish profile i have received it from the function app so basically you either you can create in a secrets here if you see go to the settings you can create uh, that here or maybe you can uh, have that secret in uh, the key vault as well so both option available so in in my demo purpose i have uh, created under the setting itself okay so let's go back here and if you see here uh, so what we are doing first we are first checking out the repository then we are setting up the python because we need to have the python and then we are trying to uh, create a, uh, the package and where we are keeping all the Py python uh, dependent packages so those value will be available in the, uh, available in the requirement.txt so all the dependent model then we are uh, creating the we are uploading the artifacts so this artifact will have uh, the function and all the required packages right so and after once that packaging is done then you can set up a deploy task so right now if you see here uh, we are trying to uh, this is a function app the url we are trying to download uh, the python app and then we are deploying to the function so this is a function app deploy action where you need to uh, pass the app name uh, the package and then the publish profile setting so this is nothing but for the uh, doing the authentication so i think that's all so assume that uh, if you want to uh, deploy it for the, uh, the 
pre-prod, prod. Similarly, you can set up uh, the multiple uh, task or the job here uh, for the pre-prod, prod only. Just for uh, giving the example or demo, I have set it up for only one environment. Okay. So now let's go back to the. So here, if you see, I have uh, already given the link of uh, our Azure Function CI/CD, and this is a publicly available. So you can also view that and the same uh, detail you can also find it here okay, okay. so yeah uh, now the next thing like it is talking about updating the yaml workflow so assume that in your case your function app will have a different right the url will be different so you can uh, basically update that before before running that uh, the workflow okay so here uh, we are mentioning how you can update the secrets And the next is how to run. So for, to run that, you you just need to go to the GitHub account, and go to the action, and then run the workflow. So I will go and try to run that. So for running the workflow, I need to go to the action. I need to go and click on the the function, and then I'll click here, run workflow. So basically, if you see here, this these values are all already getting auto populated because we already added as a default value. So now I'll click uh, run workflow. Okay, so currently it is running. If you see here, the build got succeeded, and uh, now it will go to the deploy part. So maybe it will take some time. So let's go meanwhile to that our. Okay, so this is like uh, after the successful build uh, how it looks and then you can also verify under the your function app so this is the name of the the function http trigger that we you can uh, view in the repository here so if you go to the demo sample this is the the name of the app the python app the http trigger one so this is just for a, a sample and here if you see the requirement or text so these are nothing but uh, what are the required a module if you wanted to have as a prerequisites uh, maybe the dependent module you can just uh, update here and during that uh, the packaging it will try to uh, have that all the module uh, can be uh, included with the package itself okay so let's go to the action yeah if you see here it's uh, successfully deployed so yeah two thing one is like we are doing the build and the second we are doing the deploy so the same thing you can maybe add to one more uh, tab for if you are wanted to deploy for dev pre prod and prod you can just have another you can see stages and here if you see this is the package which is getting generated right so yeah i think that's all from this demo so thanks for watching this video uh, if it is helpful kindly like uh, the video and subscribe to my channel and if you have any issue during your configuration you can write in the comment uh, i'll respond to that so thank you again bye bye